summarize what I understand so far. And then distribute those blog posts across your social media channels like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah, that's what I want. I'll go ahead and send you a Calendly link so you can schedule a follow-up call with our director, Frank, to discuss the next steps in getting this content creation system set up. So today we are going to talk about a very interesting use case that involves voice agents and mid.com automations. Over this past week or two, I've been talking to service-based businesses that consist of less than five employees. And I realized that they all have a common pain point when scaling up their business. And this has to do with receiving high quality leads. And you know, I've spoken to many sorts of service-based businesses from all industries, and this issue isn't different to the industry, right? It doesn't matter if you are a marketing agency or any sort of service-based business. Receiving high quality leads can be an issue. And in this video, I will show you how to build a system where a voice agent will call a lead, where the lead will be qualified and warmed up. And if they qualify on the call, the agent will send an email with a link to a final call where you will close the lead given prior information that you got from that voice agent. All right, if that sounds fun, let's get straight to it. So when you're starting out, right, as a, as a service-based business, I think it's okay to get out of your way and get as many leads as possible and just working with different kinds of solutions for, for businesses and whatnot, right? So that you get a feel on what specific services you're able to deliver better and what kind of clients you like working with, right? And as you start niching down when you're scaling and, you know, productizing your services, you are going to find out that you're going to want to cater to the specific kind of lead and you want to make sure that you understand exactly what they need so that on the next call, you're able to provide them directly with the plan of action and the budget, right? And then you can close that deal in that. And depending on the size of your business, you're either going to do this by yourself, which takes lots of time, or you are going to hire someone else, which takes lots of money, right? And I'm not talking about one client uh, every week. I'm talking about when you're scaling up and you are starting to receive a larger number of clients. And you can probably conclude by that, that this part of the process can be automated. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an automated outbound system to qualify and warm up your leads prior to that big decisive call where you will talk about the plan of action and the budget. Before we move on to the rest of the video, I briefly want to take you through a demo to show you how this works from start to finish, okay? So let's go to my screen and what you see here is a form that I have attached on my website, okay? And leads will come to this form and fill out all the necessary information that we need in order to understand if we can help them or not with the solutions that we provide, okay? So I'm going to put Josh here for my name. I'm going to put my email and I'm going to put my phone number like that. And now we're going to choose a budget and now uh, the lead will describe in detail what solution do they need for their business, okay? This field right here is the reason that most forms do not qualify the lead properly, okay? Why, you might ask? Well, this is because they can write whatever they want in this part of the form. You can restrict the lead to put information in some ways, but at the end of the day, they can write whatever, whatever they want. This is an issue when you are trying to get information from this form and prepare for this final call, right? The, the decisive call that we talked about before, where you will go through the next uh, action steps and the budget, right? And there you can close, you can close that lead. So, you know, this is the reason why um, we should add a phone agent, right? In the next step. But anyways, let's think of a typical example of something that a lead might type in here, okay? So let's put some context. Let's say I own a marketing agency and I want for SG Automation to make me a system where it's able to extract information from my Excel sheet and then use that information to create me a blog post for my website, okay? And then from that blog post, it's able to create a post on Twitter, on Facebook, and another one on Instagram, okay? So the way this lead might type this is that they might just simply type in content creation system without any other content, right? This this happens a lot. And well, as you can see, this doesn't give me any detail on what he wants, right? So that's where this next step comes in very handy, okay? All right, so what's going to happen now is that once I hit the submit button, I'm going to receive a phone call on the number that I have added on the form, okay? So let's do that. Let's hit submit and I should be receiving a phone call very soon, okay? Here you go. Hello, this is Michael from FG Automation. Am I speaking with Josh? Yeah, that's me. Great to speak with you, Josh. 
I'm following up on the information you submitted through our website about your interest in the content creation system. Can you tell me a bit more about the solution you're looking for? Yeah, so I want to extract information from an Excel sheet and I want to use okay, that information. I want to use that information to create blog posts and then redistribute that blog post to make posts on Twitter, Instagram, and so Facebook. Looking, okay, let me summarize what I understand so far. Okay. You're looking for a content creation system that can extract data from an Excel sheet, generate blog posts from that data, and then automatically distribute those blog posts across social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah, that's what I want. Great that helps me understand what you're looking for. Can you tell me a bit more about the type of business you work with and how many employees are currently there? Yeah, so I own a marketing agency and uh, I have around 15 employees at the moment. Okay, that's really helpful context. And just to confirm, would you be comfortable with us using low code tools, like making voice flow to develop the content creation system you need or would you prefer more advanced programming expertise in Python or JavaScript? I think using local tools uh, is fine for me if you can get the same result. Great, that works well for us. I'll go ahead and send you a Calendly link so you can schedule a follow-up call with our director, Frank, to discuss the next steps in getting this content creation system set up for your marketing agency all right sounds good okay great i'll send over that calendar link shortly have a wonderful rest of your day josh talk to you soon bye there you go interesting call isn't it so now let's switch on my screen and i should be receiving an email with that calendar link that he was talking about so there you go, here's the email. Hi Josh, I'm pleased to let you know, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Josh. And here's the Kali link and it works perfectly. All right, amazing. So whilst that call was happening, I've been tracking all of that on my lead tracker right here, right? So I've collected information from the form, right? But I've also collected information from that call. So collected information about if the call was completed, time of the call, right, and the day, how long did it last, the actual conversation. So this is com gonna come in very handy for that decisive call that I told you at the end, right? We were talking previously about the form not having enough details with regards to the to the solution that we need to build for the lead, right? So now, instead of just knowing that we need a content creation system, we know that we need to extract data from an Excel sheet, generate blog posts, and then also use that blog post to distribute across Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we have a summary here of the company he works in or he owns, and we know that he has 15 employees. So that's going to help understand the complexity and also the budget that we can plan for the lead. And then we finally see if the lead has been qualified for that decisive call at the end. So there you go. As you see, that is very useful to understand. We don't have to integrate ourselves into that process. We can let a voice agent do this for us and we can track everything on a lead tracker. So we we're able to see if we get a quality lead or not for that Canally call afterwards. Now we're going to move on to the step-by-step -step tutorial to just show you how you can build this by yourself. Let's do it. All right, so I prepared this little flow diagram to explain you what happened in the background, okay? So go to the start. So first of all, the lead completes the form, right? And we pick some essential information that we will use later on. So that information will be passed on to Google Sheets for tracking purposes. And then we will also send that information to Blind AI to initiate that phone call with the voice agent, okay? Once that phone call is complete, we're going to pass it to a GPT where it will summarize um, the transcript, right? In a neatly manner, and then this summarized transcript will go onto another GPT where we will collect uh, the essential information about the business type and the business size, right? And now, additionally, with that transcript, we're going to pass it on to another step where the GPT will decide whether the lead is qualified or not for our final call, right? This final call where we will close the lead. All this information will also go to a Google Sheet for tracking. And most importantly, we're going to use 
this information, right? Whether the lead was qualified or not. So if it's either a yes or no, if it's a yes, we will send the lead an email with a kindly link to join the final call, okay? And if the lead was not qualified, we'll send an email anyways to stay in touch with them in case we are able to provide the services that they ask for in the future, right? We will also add some social media links such as YouTube, Instagram or whatever so that they're able to connect us through there, okay? And that is it, that's the process. And now let's go through the step-by-step -step tutorial where I will show you how to build this. Let's go. All right, so what you're going to do now is that you're going to go to make, log into your account or create a new account and you're going to create a new scenario, okay? You create a new scenario and you're going to click here and import the blueprint that I will leave on the description below, okay? All right, so what's going on here? So I'm connecting a form, okay? This form that you saw on my website that I integrated on my website. I'm using Fillout, which is a third party tool to make uh, these forms. So why am I using a third party? Because it's just easier to get started with, okay? And you can integrate it very easily, okay? So you have around a thousand forms or missions that you can do, so that should be enough for you to get started with. And lucky day for you as well, I will leave this in the description so you can just download it, okay? You can download it and then you can customize it on the way you want. Once you're done with the form, now let's connect it to make. So look for the make integration and you're going to install and then follow the steps necessary okay i've done it already so i'm not going to do it and then once that's sorted then you can go back and you're going to click preview now what we're going to do is to activate the webhook so if you come back here you're going to set this up now that you enabled the connection from fillout now if you click add you should be able to find your connection here okay and then also your form once you've done that, let's disconnect this because I don't want it to go to the HTTP request because that activates the voice agent. We're going to click run and let's fill out the form. So there, and then here, let's put a random phone number, a budget, and then whatever, submit. And now we should see that we received the webhook call. Now, what you should be able to do is go to Google Sheets. Okay, well, actually connect it first. And once you click here on any form, you should see the information from the form. Remember that I put some gibberish, so the form number of the gibberish and also on that last part of the form. So it works, right? Put Frank as well. And now you're able to put in your name, email, phone number, budget, and all that onto the respective column, okay? You see the names of the columns right here, so you can figure that out. Now let's go on to the HTTP request step, okay? This module will be responsible for sending the information to the voice agent at Bland AI via this URL, okay? you can leave this the same and then what you have to change here is obviously put your api key which you can find on bland ai you go to your account and then you'll find it here paste that there leave this the same same with this and then this is where you have to add in some of your details so this is where you, the magic happens this is the set of instructions and information we will send to the voice agent to understand what the agent needs to mention with the call and what information does they need to recall okay so we first start with the phone number right you can discount from your form same with this um this is the start of the task right um have a read at that have a read at this too but well what's basically having happening here is that we want to tell the lead to clarify what they have mentioned on the form and then we will ask them two questions, okay? We will ask them about the type of business that they own or work in, and then the number of employees in that business. And then we will go through the um, qualification part, okay? So in this part, we will determine whether they are qualified or not for the final call. So have a read at this, obviously change this and put in your business name if you need to, and so on and so on. And once that is complete, then choose your voice. You put in the first sentence, right? You place in your name. So, the, I mean, the name of the lead. This is a parameter that dictates how long the voice agent has to pause after you answer to the agent. And then you have some voice settings and this is very important, okay? This webhook directs to the second automation, okay? Basically, when the call is finished, the information from the call, including the transcripts and so on, will be sent to the second automation via its webhook, right? So basically, this webhook right here, okay? And then we have some metadata, okay? This metadata will not be used by the voice agent at all. This will just be data that is passed between API calls, basically because we need to have these parameters so that we can mention them in the second automation, all right? And that's it. You put, put this as yes, and you can click okay. Don't forget to save. And that is the end of the first automation, okay? All right, so now let's set up the second automation. So what you first have to do 
is that we have to make sure that from that HTTP request, we're able to receive information from that call onto the second automation, okay? So first of all, what we're going to do is get the address, the web of address, okay? Oops, that's not the button. We're going to get the address here by copying to the clipboard. Then we're going to go to this module in the first automation. We're going to go down and you're going to paste this in here, okay? In between the quotation marks, right? You press okay. Don't forget to press save. Great. So now once we make this call, the information from that call should be able to come out to the second automation with this webhook address okay so let's verify that the information indeed comes to this address all right so let's verify that this information actually comes to this address so let's click here now make.com is listening for any incoming data to this address now we will come back here and run this automation once okay and now let's go and fill out this form once again, okay? This time we will put in a real phone number, okay? So you're gonna use this phone number to receive the call from Bland AI. So make sure it's your actual phone number. So let's click okay, what's your budget, whatever. I'm going to put chatbot in this case and let's click submit. And now we should be receiving a call very soon. So make sure you are in the call for the entirety of it. Yeah, that's me. Great, thanks for taking my call. Um, could you please provide some more details about the uh, solution you're interested in? Yeah, so I want a chatbot for my real estate business and I wanted to book appointments for my leads. Prefer more advanced programming expertise in Python or JavaScript? No, I think I'm fine with a solution using local tools as long as it does the same thing. I'll go ahead and send you a Calendly link to schedule a follow-up call with our director, Frank. Thank you for your time today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. So now we should see that we receive that information to this webhook address, right? And that means that we successfully established the connection between the first automation and the second automation, right? Great. So now we should be able to see as well that if we click to any random module and we just click in a form, you should be able to see that these objects have information filled up in them, okay? So that's also an indication that we have received the data, okay? Great. Now let's configure the rest of the modules, okay? All right, so let's set this up. I'm going to show you what I have put in the second automation. So we have already dealt with this. So now I'm going to explain what's going on here. So I'm going to add a message for the system, right? It really helps that you put in a system message saying that you're a really helpful X, right? X regarding to the task that you wanted to do. So in this case, I want to summarize a transcript, right? And therefore it's gonna be a transcript agent, okay? Now this is gonna be the message that we will instruct GPT to do. So we basically are going to grab the transcript from the phone call and all it's going to do is just reorganize that transcript so it looks neat, right? Remember here, we had that formatted conversation. So it puts it in bullet points so that it's easy to read, okay? So now let's go back and explain that. Now the second one is, once again, you had a useful system message, but yeah, we're going to come down here. And instead of getting the information from the webhook, we're going to get that summarized message from ChatGPT, so we save some tokens, okay? Because every character here that you add onto the instructions will cost some money, okay? In the form of tokens. Um, so we're going to get the transcript here instead of the webhook, okay? So this one is going to be the GPT module, which decides if the lead will be qualified or not, by by analyzing the transcript and seeing whether the lead says yes or no to that voiceflow and make.com question, if you remember from the demo, okay? You probably heard that the voice agent was saying, oh, uh, do you mind if we use local tools like make.com or whatever, whatever. So if in the transcript, the lead says yes, then the, uh, the GPT here will say yes. And if they want more uh, custom solutions, the GPT will output a no. So I also put that if there's no information to decide, please put no okay and this is in the case that the user hangs up on the call right all right okay that's it and then we're going to go here 
Okay, and in this one, we're just going to summarize that transcript again so that if we give this tracker to someone else, they are able to just read uh, the crucial information on this column instead of having to read the whole thing, okay? So marketing agency with 20 employees, okay? I just thought this was important information to point out on a separate column, but if you want to point out something different, feel free to change this prompt and play around with it, okay? And that's it. I put a max amount of tokens uh, because this will be short, okay? Actually, I will put a limit on tokens here, even though it's either yes or no, but in the case that it doesn't do that, let's limit it with the max tokens parameter, okay? So now let's talk about the Google Sheet. So you're obviously gonna choose the location where uh, your Google Sheet is. And you see here, this is the row number. So this is the reason we are adding it as metadata, right? So we're able to carry it along from the previous automation to this automation via the API call on Blend AI. And then we're going to fill in these, okay? We're not filling in these fields because these have already been filled in in the first automation, but these haven't, so we're going to fill this in. We're going to put if the call was completed, the time the call was made, the duration of that call. And right here, we're going to put information about uh, that conversation, which has been formatted by ChatGPT, then the business type and size, and if the lead was qualified for the call, okay? All right, so we are in the final part of this automation. We have a router that has two different paths. On the first path, we will send an email to the lead with a Kali link that will take that lead onto the call where you will hopefully close that lead. And on the other route, we will send a different type of email, which I'll show you now, okay? So we will add some conditions. On this path, we have obviously the message that one of the ChatGPT modules will spit, which is a yes or a no, depending on how the transcript goes, and that will equal to yes. Then we have this email with a subject, you can put whatever you want here, and see how we have another object from that metadata that we mentioned previously. So this will be the name, right? We'll put the name here again, and then the link of our Canonly, and you can customize this part however you want. And very important, this email, which we carry through as well with the metadata, because we have to send an email to that leads address. So his name is here, right? Send that there. This is going to be the email where you're going to send this from and your name. And now we have the second path, same thing, right? The ChatGPT module output equals no. And then we have a slightly different message, right? So we don't want to just forget about the lead. We want to send them another email telling them that even though we don't have a solution for them at the moment, we might have in the future. So, you know, this is an opportunity to connect with the lead and maintain the lead as much as possible. You will put your YouTube account or social media account links here. Again, we're customizing the email a little bit by adding uh, their names and there you go, okay? You can change the importance if you want. And once again, email and name and your email and name, okay? And once that's done, don't forget to hit save and that's about it. Your automation should be set up and ready to go. All right, so now that you set up both automations, what we have left is to test them and see if they work. All right, let's do that. All right, so before we run both of the automations, to do the final test. Make sure you have this lead tracker and you have it connected, obviously, to um, both of the automations, okay? Because we will be using it as well in the test, okay? So just make sure you have that. Perfect, okay. So now let's run the test. We're going to run this first automation. Now let's run the second automation. And now let's fill in this form. Put your name and make sure you put your email, all right? because on the second automation, we will be sending an email to the email that's on the form, okay? So you need to be able to receive that in order to ensure that it works. Okay, so obviously put your real phone number as well because you will be receiving a call, okay? You can put whatever you want. I will put chatbot once again. So now, same thing, let's hit submit and we should be receiving a phone call very soon, okay? This has triggered and now we are going to get phone call. So this is Michael, FG Automation. Am I speaking with Frank? Yeah, that's me. Craig, thanks for taking my call, Frank. I'm following up on the information you submitted through our website's qualification form, particularly regarding your interest in a chatbot solution. Yeah, that's right. Could you, uh, could you please provide some more details about the type of chatbot solution you're looking for? Yeah, so I want a chatbot that is able to book appointments okay, for my leads. It. Great, that helps me understand. Uh, so you're looking for a chatbot that can book appointments for your leads? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, no worries. Great. I'll send over that Calendly link. Have a wonderful rest of your day, Frank. Goodbye. All right. So that was done. 
And now this should trigger this second automation, as you can see, which has been successfully triggered indeed. And now it's doing all the rest of the steps, okay? And now you should see that it qualified us and we got that email, that top email, okay? With the Kaleli link. So now let's check. And you can see here, we have received that email, okay? So now we have confirmed that the first automation worked, of course, because we got that call. We ensured that this second automation ended up running because we literally saw it. And we ensured that the logic works over here because we received the email, as you can see here, right? And we also received the right email because we agreed to use low code solutions, okay? And also don't forget that you check your lead tracker on Google Sheets, right? So make sure you received all the information that you were expecting, right? Including the formatted conversation, the business information, and you know, uh, and this message here, either if it was a yes or a no. And that's it. That's all that there is to it. So if you got to this point and you managed to run the entire automation successfully, I congratulate you, well done. And what are the next steps? So if you keep playing around with the automation a bit more, which by the way is an MVP, if you play around with it a bit more, you realize there are some things that could be improved, right? And the places where you can improve it are usually on the task, right? The task that you sent to the HTTP request and also on the ChatGPT modules. And that's not a coincidence, okay? It's always on the language model steps. Why is that? Well, it's because the outputs that the language models give are based on probability, right? So there's always a margin of error that they will have. So how do you improve from that? Well, you make the prompt better, right? So I encourage you to, first of all, go to Bland AI's documentation and find out and explore what parameters you can add to the task and what parameters you can change. And yeah, just uh, tweak the automation a bit, right? Change the task to your liking, change the ChatGPT modules to your liking and keep experimenting, iterating until you are comfortable with the output that it gives during the voice call and also on what happens afterwards, okay? So that's about it. Have a play, enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one.